Yes. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Glacial Geek Battle Report. I am Phil the Glacial Geek, coming to you here from Savannah Lion Games in Pooler, Georgia, where I'll be fighting a 2,000 point battle between my Dark Angels and Max's Mixed Eldari. So the story that we've got going on here is that this was an Eldar, uh, they were meeting together to discuss their future plans uh, with their new god going out into this universe, figuring what happened. The Dark Angels found out about their meeting here and sent in a strike force to go handle the situation and purge the Xenos before they could uh, gather their forces into whatever nefarious plans they were going to work on. Uh, so that's the story. Uh, we are going to be playing the Battle Line mission. This is from the uh, the 2020, 2020? Yeah, 20, 2020 um, chapter approved mission pack. Uh, essentially there are four objectives on the table. And these objectives, uh, at the, uh, during your turn, uh, if you control uh, one, you get five points. If you control two, you score uh, five points. And if you control more than your opponent, you score an additional five points for a total of 15 uh, points that you can possibly score uh, during, your, uh, during the mission uh, each turn. Uh, and then for uh, secondaries, we also both choose our three secondaries. I chose Sovereign Defiance, which is a Dark Angel one. I chose Oath of Moment, which is also a which is a Space Marine specific one. And I chose Vital Ground, which is the mission specific one. Uh, Vital Ground, the mission specific one. If you control your opponent's objective, uh, you score three points. And if you control the other ones that are not in anyone's deployment zone, you score two points for a maximum of seven points per turn. Cannot score it on the first turn. Uh, my opponent has chosen um, Vital Ground as well. He also chose Mental Interrogation and Grind Them Down. So, that is the mission, that is the story. Before we go any further though, let's show you the two armies that are going to be fighting it out. So for the Dark Angels, I'll be running a Battalion Detachment. Leading off that detachment, we have Lazarus, we have a Primaris Lieutenant, and we have a Primaris Librarian. We have two five-man Intercessor Squads. We have a five-man Infiltrator Squad. We have a three-man Aggressor Squad. We have two two-man Attack Bike Squads. We have an Outrider Squad. We have a Ravenwing Apothecary. We have a 10-man Hellblaster Squad. And last but not least, we have a 10-man Deathwing Knight Squad. So for the Eldari, he'll be running a Battalion, a Spearhead, and a Patrol Detachment. Leading off the Battalion Detachment, we have a Farseer on a bike and a Farseer on foot. We have two five-man Dire Avenger squads. We have a 10-man Guardian squad. We have a five-man Wraith Guard squad. And a Fire Prism. For the Spearhead Detachment, we have a Warlock. We have a Warwalker and two Wraith Lords. And then for the Patrol Detachment, we have a Drukhari Archon. We have a five-man Capilite Warrior Squad. We have two nine-man squads of Incubi. And last but not least, we have three Raiders. All right, those are the armies going over deployment here for the Dark Angels. I've got my Outriders on the flank over on this side, just to give you a better idea. Uh, going over here, I've got a two-man attack bike squad. I've got my Ravenwing Apothecary. He is not beefed up to uh, to the chapter, the Chief Apothecary. He's just a regular Apothecary. We have, in the center there, we've got my Aggressors, surrounded by my Hellblasters. Behind them, we have my... Um, we have my Primaris Librarian, Lazarus, and my Primaris Lieutenant. We have the two squads of Intercessors on this side. We've got another attack bike squad over here. And we have my Infiltrators up there on the objective. Uh, my Deathwing Knights are going to be in uh, Deep Strike Reserve. Going over here for deployment for the Eldar. We've got a five-man squad of the Dire Avengers over here. We've got a Raider over here. Uh, inside the Raider is going to be five um, Cabalite Warriors and an Archon. We then have another Raider with nine Incubi inside. We've got the Wraith Lord over here. We've got the Fire Prism back over here. We've got the, um, the Foot... Uh, oh man, what is he? He's not a... Not the... Farseer. Farseer. Not, I was going to say Warlock, but the Warlock is over here. This is a Farseer over this side, along with the Warwalker. We've got the 10-man uh, Guardian Squad over here. We've got another Raider. Inside is another 9-man squad of the Incubi. Another Wraith Lord over here. 
We've got the uh, Farseer on a bike on this side, and we have the uh, fi another five-man squad of the Dire Avengers. In uh, the Webway portal, my opponent has put his five, um, his five Wraith Guard. So, uh, not Wraith Guard. Yes, Wraith Guard. I was right. I was right. Don't question yourself, Phil. All right, so <laughs> that is deployment. We are now going to roll off to see who goes first. So again, because of uh, the new way that they're doing it here, whoever uh, rolls highest will have to go first. You don't get a choice anymore. So here we go. Rolling it. Oh, the fill phasing is the three. Dark Angels will be going first. We'll come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn one. Movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn one. Uh, I spent two CP uh, for the hunt for my uh, Outriders here to move uh, before the battle at the beginning of the first battle round. So they moved up to here and moved and then moved again up to here. Uh, my attack bikes moved over here onto this objective. My aggressors advanced up over this way. Um, my uh, apothecary moved up behind them. The uh, um, Hell Blasters moved up behind them as well, as did my characters. My intercessors stayed back over here. And on this side, my attack bikes moved up and my um, infiltrators stayed where they were. So that's gonna be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. All right, so during the psychic phase, I am going to cast, um, I'm going to cast Righteous Repugnance onto my aggressors over here. So needing a uh, seven, getting a seven, would you like to try to deny? I think you're within 24. Oh uh, yeah, you should just be within, maybe within 20. Once. So he's just outside of range, so he they will have Righteous Repugnance. Starting at the shooting phase, my attack bikes here are gonna fire into his raider over here. So we're gonna start with the multi melters. So we have four shots with those, uh, with the two multi melters in there, hitting on threes. Uh, that's gonna be three hits. Strength eight, so wounding on threes. Uh, I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll one of those into a wound there. So that's gonna be two wounds into it. Two five up invul saves, making them both. And then we're gonna have the bolters firing into it as well. Hitting on threes, wounding on fives. Getting one wound at AP nothing. So uh, it's just gonna be a regular save over here. Four up, armor. four up armor save. He's good. All right, so now my hell blasters here are gonna fire into his raider here. Um, I spent, uh, they're gonna supercharge and I spent one CP on weapons of the dark age. When I did so, my opponent uh, spent, uh, uh, or does, it's actually no CP, it's a free one, but it's only once per game. Uh, essentially he used the new agents of Vect and what it does is it makes it more expensive, one, one CP more expensive to use uh, each time that I use it from here on out. So it'd be three CP to use instead of just the two. So that's a lot, but I think it should be, I'm, we'll see, we'll see what happens. See if I need to use it later. Uh, so this is gonna be 10 shots from that squad because everyone can see them, but they are um, not in rapid fire range. So these are going to be hitting on threes, rerolling ones because of the, because uh, of Lazarus over there, thankfully. All right, so no ones there, but a couple misses. These are going to be strength eight. So again, threes to wound. Rerolling ones because of my primaris lieutenant over there. All right, not meant to be. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six at AP minus four. So these are looking for into the into the raider there. So five up in both uh, Making three of them, so they're going to take nine damage. And then my Ravenwing Apothecary is gonna fire with his Plasma Talons, not gonna supercharge here. Uh, that's gonna be one hit. That is a wound. Five up invul save. No, he doesn't make it, so he is gonna spend, one second. My opponent's gonna spend a CP to try to, uh, to set it. No, it will go through. So does he explode? Uh, he does not. All right, and none of the uh, incubi inside died in the uh, when it collapsed there. All right, so now my aggressors are going to fire into his incubi over here. So they're going to have uh, six shots each plus a D6 each, but they're blast, so these are going to be a minimum of three. So that's going to be uh, four, nine, and then this will become a three. So it'll be uh, 12 extra shots. So now my aggressors are gonna fire into the incubi over here. So we've got the 30 shots coming here, hitting on threes. All right, these are gonna be strength four, toughness three. So looking for threes to wound. All right, these are gonna be three up armor saves. That is gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. 
All right, so now my attack bike over here are going to fire into this Raider. So we've got four multi melter shots coming from them. Hitting on threes. Okay, that's gonna be two hits. Looking for threes to wound. That's gonna be two wounds. Five up in vol save, sir. Failing them both. So that's going to be, they're not in um, in half range yet because uh, they could only move 12 and he's he's outside of the other deployments on there. So these are going to be looking for um, just D6 damage each. Uh, getting nine damage. And then their bolters are gonna fire. Here we go, hitting on threes. And strength four, so fives to wound. That is going to be three wounds there. AP nothing, so they've got their, what is it, four of save. No, and they will go down. Does he explode? He does with that fill face. All right, so he does explode. Everyone within six inches, these three squads, and then the uh, Guardian squad there are the D3 mortal wounds. So we'll start over here. We'll do the Wraith Lord on this side. He's going to take one. He's got to feel no pain because of Ulfwe. He's good to go there. Then we have the onto the um, uh, Farce here on a bike. He's going to take three mortal wounds. Uh, is it five up or is it six up? Six up. So he will take three mortal wounds. And then into the Dire Avengers. Three mortal wounds. Oh, for ignoring two of them, he'll only take one. And then into the uh, Guardians over there. Three mortal wounds again. Uh, do, uh, making one, so then two will die. All right, one guy twisted an ankle getting out of the explosion there. Um, and now my uh, in infiltrators here are going to fire into the incubi back over there. So he's going to be 10 shots, hitting on th uh, hitting on twos because they did not move and getting plus one to hit. All right. So these two sixes automatically wound because they're the marksman rifles there. And these are going to be strength four looking for threes to wound. All righty. So that's going to be a total of one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. AP nothing, so looking for uh, three up saves. Uh, Failing three of them. All right, so now my Outriders, they're going to fire into his Incubi over there. Um, looking for threes to hit. Ooh, that is real good. I'll take that. These are strength four, looking for threes to wound. That is also very good. Wow. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten at AP minus one. Four up saves. Three up saves. Uh, minus one, AP minus one, because these are bolt rifles. So these are uh, four up saves. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the rest of the squad. All right, so that's it for the shooting phase. Into the assault phase, my outriders are going to charge into his guardians over here. Uh, so they're going to fire the plat. He's going to fire Overwatch. So we're going to go with the platform first. Uh, D6 shots. There's going to be three shots here. So these are going to be uh, looking for sixes to hit. Getting one hit. What's the strength on this? Four. Strength four, so looking for a five to wound. No, no wound there. And then 14 shots from the other guardians. Getting two hits. Strength what? Four. Strength four, so again, fives to wound. Uh, no wound. That's All right, so I mean. need a seven inch charge to get in over there. That is not going to make it. I'm going to spend a CP to reroll that. Getting a big woo! All right, so here we go into the fight phase. My outriders are going to attack into his guardians over here. Uh, the regular guys have two attacks each. The sergeant has three. They each get two attacks uh, additional if they charged. And they each get an additional attack because of shock assault and an additional attack because of their Astartes chain swords. So coming to a grand total of 19 attacks here. Uh, these are going to be hitting on threes. Strength four, so wounding on threes. All right, so we're gonna start here, eight wounds. These are gonna first go onto the platform, weapons platform. This is gonna be three up saves, so they've become four up saves. With the AP minus one, making both of those. Uh, it is now dead, so then we have four six up saves. Uh, that's gonna make one of those, so another three guys will die. All right, now the guardians are going to attack back over here. So these are gonna be hitting on fours. 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 Pretty good there. And then these are going to be wounding on fives. No, no wound. All right, so that's going to be it for the Dark Angel's turn here on turn one. We do have some morale tests to take here. Uh, we've got the Incubi. So they lost six plus four is ten, so that's going to be a fail. Um, so then we've got uh, two either roll. So one's going to run away, and then you have two. Uh, that's going to be, they're going to be fine, so there's going to be two left there. And then we've got the Guardians over here. Uh, they lost one, two, they lost five guys from their 10-man squad over there. So they're just going to have uh, one roll. The 
leadership test here. So five plus three is eight. That's going to fail, right? Is it going to fail? One. All right, so that was a fail. So one guy is going to be gone. And then we've got four other guys. See, they run away. Uh, oh, three of them do. One will stay. All right, so that's going to be it for the Dark Angel's turn here. We will come back to you after movement phase for the Eldari here on turn one. Moving phase for the Eldari here on turn one. Down over here, his Incubi and the Archon disembarked from the Raider. Uh, I, oh, I'm sorry, those are Cabalite Wars, not the Incubi, the Cabalites. The dark, the, 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 the Drakari things. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the, <laughs> sorry, I made myself laugh. That's, uh, at least someone laughs, right? Uh, so the Dire Avengers over here also moved up. Um, then the Raider moved up onto the top over here after disembarking his dude bros down over there. Over here, his um, pr 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 uh, pr Fire Prism, I got it, I got it. His Fire Prism stood still, as did the Farseer and the uh, Warwalker. His Wraith Lord walked over here looking to chop up some bikes. His uh, Incubi also came over to chop up some bikes. And his uh, Warlock also came up to poke some bikes. His uh, his Guardian over here stayed in combat. At first I said, oh, he's a really brave. And then I realized he's going to keep me from firing Overwatch, which makes him just very smart. <laughs> uh, over here, his other Dire Avengers and the uh, Farseer moved up over this way, as did the Wraith Lord. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the Psychic phase. All right, so first thing we're going to start with is Smite from his Farseer into my Infiltrators. Uh, oh, and a double six. What are we going to do? Decisions need to be made. All right, my opponent's going to reroll one with his uh, runes of the Farseer. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I think he was meant to just be powering up over here. Uh, so uh, he's going to take D3 Mortal Wounds for Perils of the Warp. He's going to take two, so he's still alive. So that does mean that, uh, oh, he can also uh, ignore them, right? On a, what's he do on his ghost helm? He's ignoring something. One, all right, so yeah, so for his ghost helm here, he's got two two-ups to ignore them. Okay, so he ignores them. He's fine, he's fine. And now he's going to do D6 mortal wounds onto my guys over there. Doing two mortal wounds. Well, that was exciting. Now onto Executioner over here. Uh, eight will go off. What's that do again? That's the D three mortal wounds. Okay. Kill a model. Oh, and it Another keeps going. D3 okay. I'm gonna try to deny that one, so I'm looking for a nine to go off here. Oh, and I get it with an eleven. Woo! So now his other fire seer back here is gonna cast guide onto his fire prism. That will go off on a ten. And now he's also going to smite, looking for a six. That will go off on a six. So D three mortal wounds. Doing two. And now the Warlock is going to cast Jinx onto my Outriders over there. Uh, that will go off on an 8. Moving on to the shooting phase here, his Wraith Lord is going to fire into my attack bikes over here. So these are going to be uh, two shots here with the Bright Lances. That is not going to be any hit. And then his Flamers are also going to fire into them as well. So that's going to be four total hits. These are going to be Strength 4, so looking for 5s to wound. That is going to be two wounds, AP, nothing. nothing, so looking for three up armor saves. Yeah. Making them both, woo! Four of them. All right, so now his uh, Dire Avengers here are going to fire into the, which ones are you firing into? I'm sorry, is it the uh, the attack bikes or the uh, infiltrators? Uh, infiltrators? Into the infiltrators over here. So these are going to be hitting on threes. All right, one miss there. Strength four, so looking for fours to wound. That is going to be two, three wounds there, All right? Yep. So three, uh, two up saves because they are in cover. They're going to be good. And now his farseer on the bike there is going to fire into my infiltrators. That's going to be whoa, what's he hit on twos or threes? One second. All right, hitting on two, so that's going to be three hits. These are going to be strength four again. That is going to be two wounds. Oops, sorry, sorry. And these are going to be looking for two up saves again because they are in cover. They are good. And now his Wraith Lord over here is going to fire into my attack bikes over here. So that's going to be two shots. That's going to be one hit. Strength. That six will wound it. Uh, AP. Minus four. Minus four. So they've got their five up invul save because they're Ravenwing and they moved. Nope. Going to miss that one. What's the damage? D6. D6 damage. Two dead. 
Dire Avenger squad over here is going to fire into my attack bikes. So we're going to have uh, all all of them have the uh, guns, right? So is yes, it raising me? Two more actually. Okay. The sergeant has two. Oh, the sergeant has two shuriken uh, shuriken catapults here. So these are going to be hitting on threes. All right. Five. Uh, winning on fives. We got There's two uh, two six up. So these are AP minus three or one. What AP is it? Minus three. AP minus three. So again, we're gonna go to the five up in vol saves. Making one, failing one. And now the Cavalite Warriors here are gonna fire their splinter rifles into my attack bikes. Hitting on threes. Real good there. And then these are going to be wounding on uh, strength four. Oh, poison. 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 Four up. So that's gonna be one, two, three. AP nothing though, right? AP. Ooh, one second. Yep, 18 nothing. So we've got three up armor saves. Oh, failed two now. And now this raider over here is going to fire into my attack bike. He's got the one, is it the, what is it called? Right, uh, Bright, Dark, Lance. Dark Lance here. So hitting on a three, that's going to be a hit. hit. Strength oh, what? Uh, eight. No. Eight. So looking for a three to wound. That's going to be a wound. All right. AP minus four. Man, minus four. So we got a five up in vol save because of being a raven wing. No, no, that's gonna go through. So what's the damage? D3 plus one. D3 plus one? So oh yeah. Damage. He did. All right, so now his fire prism here is going to fire into my attack bikes. He's gonna be minus one to hit because he's firing through dense terrain over here. So it's uh, D3 shots. It's gonna have one shot here. Uh, it's going to be uh, hitting on a four because of being through the cover. No, not gonna hit. Oh, uh, rerolling ones and twos because of guide. No. That is gonna be a hit, so strength Nine. Nine, so looking for a three to wound. That is not a wound. My opponent's gonna spend a command point to reroll that into a wound. AP minus four, so this is gonna be looking for, again, five up in vol save because of the uh, Raven Wing here. No, that one's gonna go through, so uh, D3, damage. D3 damage. Taking two damage. All right, so the War Walker here is now going to fire into my aggressors. So he's gonna have his two um, Eldari missile launchers that he is going to be uh, firing into them. So it's going to be, uh, what is it, two shots or is it D6 uh, shots? I will be firing the heavy. Oh, he's gonna fire the heavy ones, shots. so it's gonna be two, uh, two shots. These are going to be uh, hitting on fours though because he's going through uh, dense terrain over there. So it's gonna be one hit here. So these are going to be looking for, um, that will wound on a four, right? Strength, it's a, what is it? Strength, Strength eight, 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 yeah. AP minus two, uh, plus one because they're in cover. So we're looking for a uh, four up save. Yeah, he's good with a four. So that's it for the shooting phase into the assault phase. The incubi are gonna charge in. They're in. The war walker, or the, the wraith lord over here charging in. He's also in. And then the warlock's gonna charge in. He's also in. And now his Wraith Lord here is going to charge into my attack bikes. I'm going to spend a CP to Overwatch. So we're going to get the multi melters here, looking for sixes, showing those fill faces. Uh, getting three fill faces? Oh, buddy. Strength eight. What is their toughness? Eight. Toughness eight. So looking for fours to wound. Uh, I'm going to. What's their. How much damage do they. How many wounds do they have? One second. I'm going to spend a CP to reroll this into a wound. So that's going to be three wounds into them over there. All right, so they're AP minus five because of it being the Devastator Doctrine here. He does not have an invulse save, so these are going to be uh, D6 plus uh, two for each of these. So these are going to be, oh, buddy, 12, 15, uh, 21 wounds. We've, we're coming back to you with those field no pain. All right, so we got six of field no pain here coming in. 21 of them. 21 of them. I need, I need 12 field no pain. It is 12 field no pains. Uh, no, no, he is uh, definitely dead. You got three. That's not bad. But it's, uh, yeah, he did. <laughs> and now the Dire Avengers are going to charge into my infiltrators over here. So uh, I cannot fire a watch again because I've already fired. Uh, seven should get him. And now his uh, Farseer on a bike is going to charge into my attack bikes over here. Needing a nine inch charge. Uh, no, he will not be in. All right, so starting off the fight phase here, we're going to go with the two Incubi. Uh, They're going to have seven total attacks coming in here. Uh, these are going to be hitting on twos. That's going to be all but one hit. These are going to be strength, what? Strength. Once strength five, so these are going to be wounding on fours. Wound. That is going to be one wound here, but that's going to be uh, because of uh, their special rules. They're going to be AP minus four, and a total of three damage because it's plus one damage because the clavex is in there, 
and it's uh, on the six, it's plus one damage, also plus one AP because of blade uh, artists there. So that's gonna go straight through for a total of four damage, which will kill one of my bikers. Oh, wait, no, no. All right, so I am gonna spend two CP to interrupt over here, um, and I'm going to go with my outriders here. I'm gonna, uh, eat, they've got um, two and three attacks uh, a piece here for the sergeant and the regular guy. Uh, plus one attack because they got charged and for shock assault and plus one attack because of their chain swords. They do not get the plus two because they did not charge themselves. So they're going to attack in over here. I'm going to put two attacks into um, two attacks into the guardian over there. Four attacks are going to go into the um, incubi over here, and three attacks are going to go into uh, the warlock over there. So we're going to do the two attacks into the guardian, hitting on threes. It's going to be one hit, wounding on a three. That is a wound. AP minus one. So he's going to have a six up. No, he did. And then four attacks into the incubi. That's going to be three hits. Wounding on threes. That is going to be no wounds. Oof. And then we got the three attacks into the um, into the warlock. <coughs> that is going to be oh plus one to hit because they did not move. I forgot about that. So that's actually going to be three hits there. That is going to be three wounds at AP minus one. Four up in vol. Four up in vol saves. Three four ups. Making them all with fill faces. So after they fought, I spent two CP on Swift Assault, which allowed my Ravenwing bikers over here, my Outriders, to fall back, and they came out of combat over here. So they are out of range of consolidation. He can probably still um, pile in and consolidate into me, but that should be fine. I, I'm okay where I'm at there. So that's where we're going to be. And now the um, uh, Dire Avengers here are going to attack into my Infiltrators. So that's going to be no hit. And now we've got the Exarch here. Exarch, right? Yes. yes. Uh, he's got a Power Glaive here. That's going to be one hit. Strength three. Four. Oh, strength four. So looking for four to wound. No, no wound. All right, so now my Infiltrators here are going to attack into the Dire Avengers. Ten attacks total because they got charged. Hitting on threes. Oh, hitting on twos because they did not move. Uh, these are now going to be strength four, toughness three, threes to wound. Oh boy, that's a lot of twos. All right, so that's going to be four, seven wounds here. You can use these ones here. So that's seven wounds. Uh, AP, nothing on these ones. So we're going to have a four up armor save. Four up armor saves. No, they will be dead. All right, so that's going to be it for turn one here. Um, we do not have any morale tests to take, My uh, and that's going to be it there. Uh, he did pile in and consolidate with his uh, Wraith Lord into me over here, so we are engaged, but I could not make the attack since he needed the consolidation to get into engagement range with me. So that is going to be that. We will come back to you um, after on turn two with the movement phase for the Dark Angels. All right, movement phase here for the Dark Angels. Oh, I should say, at the beginning of my turn, I did score 15 points for primary. Oh, forgot one of my guys. Thank you, sir. Uh, 15 points for primary, because uh, I held uh, held two objectives at the beginning of the turn, uh, which was hold one, hold two, and then uh, hold more. Uh, I also scored two points for vital ground, because I held that objective over there. Um, and then I also um, scored two points for... Uh, stubborn defiance for holding this for two command phases. So, uh, but then into the movement phase, all these guys over here. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. He actually moved to there. Um, these guys moved over here, um, moving up six inches. So they're on the objective over here. Everyone moved along with them. These guys back here stood still. Uh, they stood on the objective there. The bikers moved up over to here, um, and then my uh, the aggressors just moved up, and then the Deathwing Knights dropped in over here, nine inches away from his guys over here. Uh, oh, and my outriders did move out of um, combat over there because I didn't feel like killing them. It did lose me a point for Oath of Moment because I, I did fall back, but uh, they're, they'll be fine for that. Uh, so that's going to be it for the movement phase. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. Into the psychic phase, I'm going to cast Righteous Repugnance onto my Deathwing Knights over here. Uh, that will not go off. I'm going to spend a CP to reroll that into a six, which might go off. All right, I needed a seven for Righteous Repugnance. Uh, aversion is the six, so bump, bump. And now my guy is going to cast Smite into the Dire Avengers. That will go off on a seven. Would you like to try to deny it, sir? You definitely have someone within 24 over there. Yes. So looking for an eight. No, does not with the seven. Uh, 
Uh, is he within 24? Listen one second. Never mind, it turns out nobody was. We were checking to see if he was the one that was in 24, but he's, no one is. So uh, that will go off. So it's D3 mortal wounds into his Dire Avengers over there. That's uh, one mortal wound. Got a six up, feel no pain. He's good. All right, so now my infiltrator is going to start us off in the shooting phase, shooting. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm sorry. The two guys back over here that were in range. I, I, I pointed this out and then I meant to do it. I'm going to fire into the far seer over there. It's going to be four shots. Hitting on twos because they did not move. That's going to be all hits. Strength four, toughness four because he's on a bike, so four is to wound. Uh, that is going to be two wounds at AP minus two because it's the uh, the uh, tactical doctrine. Uh, makes them both with a four bin volt save, right? And now the marksmen's over there are going to fire, hitting on twos. No sixes to hit, so no auto wounds. But these are going to be wounding on fours. That is going to be three wounds at AP minus one. Uh, AP minus uh, one, yes. And four up uh, Four up invul saves. Uh, fails one of them. My attack bikes are going to fire. All the bolters are going to go into the uh, the Farseer over here, along with one of the multi belters, and then the other multi belter is going to go into the Wraith Lord. So we'll do the one into the Wraith Lord first. That is going to be no hits there. Then we're going to do the multi belter into the Wraith Lord, into the uh, the Farseer there. That's going to be two hits. Wounding on twos. That's going to be two wounds. Two four up invul saves. Making them both, which is pretty good. That's why I was. Worried about this, so let's see. And then we've got the bolters into him over here. Hitting on twos because, oh no, they did move, so it's hitting on threes, but that's still, that's fine. Five hits, fours to wound. That is going to be three wounds at AP minus one, so he's just got his four up interval six. Failing another one. All right, so my hell blasters here are gonna fire into his raider. I am gonna spend, uh, I'm, I'm gonna supercharge. I'm not gonna spend the CP for weapons of the dark age because it's too expensive now that he uh, vected it. So it's pretty cool to see the new the new vect in play, uh, in action here. So here we go with these 10 shots because they're out of rapid fire range, but within range. So these are gonna be hitting on threes. Rerolling ones because of um, uh, Lazarus over there. Okie dokie, that's pretty good. These are going to be strength eight, so threes to wound. No ones to reroll, so that's going to be five that go through here. Uh, these are going to be AP minus uh, five because of it being the tactical doctrine. So five up in vol six. Makes one of them, so it's going to be eight damage. All right, so now my aggressors are going to fire. Two of them are going to fire into his dire Avengers over here. And one of them is going to fire into his uh, Farseer on a bike. So we'll do the Farseer on the bike. So he's going to have six plus four. So he's going to have 10 shots that are going to be coming in over here. Hitting on threes. Okie dokie. Uh, these are now going to be strength four. So four is to wound. That is going to be four wounds here. AP minus one because of it being tactical doctor, but he said it's four up in both save. Ow. Oh no, and he will be dead. Oh, feel guys, no six up field of pain, that's right. No, not enough, he did. And then the other aggressors into his Dire Avengers. So it's going to be six plus, oof, plus 11, so it's going to be 17 shots. Well, All right, it's actually 12, I forgot, it's six each, so it's 12 plus um, uh, 11 up there. So it's going to be 23 shots into them over here. So it's going to be hitting on threes. Wounding on threes. Here goes 11. Uh, they need four up saves because it's AP minus one. Uh, that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six wounds. Uh, so they are. They, oh, I think there was another one over there. Six up. I think there's another one in there. Yeah. Yeah, the three. Yeah, six up. Feel no pains. Makes two of them. It's still five. They are dead. Nope. Oh, that's right. XR has one wound extra. All right, so that's going to be it for the shooting phase. Into the assault phase, my Deathwing Knights are going to charge into his. Uh, into his incubi and into his um, wraith lord over here. So the wraith lord is going to spend a CP to fire Overwatch here. So we're going to do the shuriken cannons first. Shuriken catapults. A uh, catapults first. I'm sorry. All right, no hits there. And then these are the bright lances. No hits there either. So I need a nine-inch charge to get in from Deep Strike over there. Uh, they will not get in. I'm going to spend a CP to reroll that. Come on, Phil versus. Oh, and they're in with a nine! Woo! All right, so now my uh, my 
uh, Deathwing Knights here are going to attack. We're going to put uh, seven guys are going to go into his Wraith Lord, and then uh, the Nightmaster and two other guys are going to go into his Incubi. So we're going to go into the Wraith Lord first. Uh, these are going to be hitting on twos. Okay. These are strength eight. This is strength times two. Uh, but uh, he is toughness eight, so looking for fours to wound. Okay. All right, so that's going to be three, six, nine, ten, eleven wounds. Uh, these are going to be uh, AP minus three. Oh, no, AP minus two. Um, so, yeah, so uh, eleven wounds at AP minus two. Um, five up saves. That's going to be three damage apiece. So he is uh, definitely three. dead. Three damage apiece? Yeah, so that's going to be three, six, nine. We'll come back to that. All right, so here we go. These are looking for six up Fielder Pains. Uh, makes a fair amount, but I don't know if it's enough to save him, though. Five. No. No. No, he will be dead. And then we'll do the other two guys into the, uh, into the Incubi over there. These are going to be wounding on twos. That is going to be four wounds at AP minus two. So four, five ups. Five ups. Uh, no, makes two, but no, they will be dead. All right, so that's going to be it for the Dark Angels turn here on turn two. We have one leadership test to take over here with this guy. So he lost four guys from his squad. So four plus seven is the Exarch. He should be good. Yeah, I think he should be fine at seven. He should be fine. Uh, so that's going to be it. Uh, a pretty good turn there for the Dark Angels. So we'll come back to you after a movement phase for the Eldari here on turn two. Movement phase for the Eldari here on turn two. His um, Raider stayed still up here. The uh, Cabalite Warrior stayed still back here. His Dire Avenger bravely moved up here onto the objective, being objective secured. And then over back here, his Archon uh, smartly fell back uh, to try to block some line of sight back over here. Uh, the Warlock moved around over here, trying to act as a roadblock to these guys who all stood still. And then in from Deep Strike, or in from the Webway Portal came his, um, uh, the what are they called? Wraith Guard dropped in over here, so nine inches away. Unfortunately, they're not going to be in range for their D size, but hopefully they'll be able to charge in and do some damage. So that's going to be it for the movement phase. For the Eldari here on turn two, we'll come back to you after movement phase, uh, after with the psychic phase. Uh, his warlock here is going to cast Jinx onto my Deathwing Knights. That's not going to go off on a four. My opponent's going to spend a CP to reroll that. Will go off on a ten. Now his farce here back here is going to cast Smite into my bikers over here. That will go off on a seven. D three mortal wounds. One mortal wound. And guide onto the fire prism. That will go off on a ten. All right, so we're going to start off the shooting phase with the uh, Fire Prism here. He's going to fire into my Deathwing Knights. He's going to use the Dispersed one. So getting D6 shots. It's going to be two shots here. These are going to be hitting on a th uh, three. Rerolling, though, because of Guide. Reroll because of Guide. That is going to be two hits. Uh, looking up for fours to wound because of uh, Deathwing Inner Circle there. So that's going to be one wound. AP minus three. So it's going to be looking for their uh, four up. Invul save on oh b minus one because of jinx so it's gonna be looking for a five up invul save uh, Don't make it so one takes a wound and then we got the twin shirking catapults. They're gonna fire in and over here All right, so it's gonna be reroll because of guide that's gonna be all hits Strength four so fours to wound oh fours. Yeah fours to wound. Yeah So that's gonna be three wounds there AP Nothing on them. AP minus, uh, minus three. One's AP minus three, two are AP nothing. So there's two AP nothings, two ups. Making those, and then the one AP minus three, five ups. So it would have been three ups because of the minus one, I'm sorry. Uh, so that's uh, not going to make it because of the, uh, what's we call it? The thingy with the other thingy. Jinx. Jinx, that's right. So here we go. And now the War Walker is going to fire into my Deathwing Knights over here. It's going to be two hits. Looking for fours. That's going to be one wound. AP minus two. Minus two. Um, so actually, the armor save, I think, is probably going to be better because it would be a three to two. It becomes a four up armor save because of the plus one from the storm shield, minus one from his uh, from the um, jinx. Doesn't matter when you roll a one. <laughs> D6 damage. Uh, five damage. All right, so this guy over here is going to fire his two catapults into the hellblasters, right? Into the hellblasters over here. 
that's gonna be no hits, okay. And then the splinter rifle shots are gonna fire into the hell blasters over here. That's gonna be all hits. Force the wound. Force the wound because of poison. That's gonna be two wounds over there. Two, three up saves. Failing one. Six up feeling the pain because of the apothecary over there. Nope. All right, so now the raider here is gonna fire into my Deathwing Knights. He's gonna be hitting on fives now because he's degraded. That is a hit though, there yeah. you go. That's how you do that. Uh, Four is to wound though because they're uh, Deathwing inner circle. No, not meant to be. Shotgun pistol from the Warlock into my bikes over here. That is no. not a hit. Now the Farseer is gonna do the same thing into my bikes over here on a three that will hit. Looking for a five, that's not a wound. All right, so the Warlock is gonna charge into my bikes over here in the charge phase now, because we're done with the shooting. He's in. All right, so now these Wraith Guard are gonna charge into my back squad of uh, intercessors over here. I am gonna spend a CP to Overwatch. So these are going to be hitting on sixes, getting two hits. Strength four, uh, looking for tough six, tough five, five's a wound. Uh, getting one wound, AP minus two because it's the uh, tactical uh, doctrine. For five, five up saves. No, one will take a wound. Uthway does not ignore it. So here we go. Roll, uh, charge knees, a nine inch charge to get in. Uh, does get in with an 11. That was one All right, so now the Warlock is gonna charge, is gonna uh, attack here with his attacks here. So he's got what, how many attacks? Two attacks hitting on threes. Two attacks hitting on threes. That is gonna be one hit. Strength. Or he always does he always wound? Spear. Does it always wound on a two? Two up. Two up always with the same spear. No, not gonna wound. All right, so I'm gonna spend two CP to interrupt over here. So we're gonna go with my uh, sergeant first. He's got three attacks base, plus one on uh, because he got charged, and plus one because of his Stardis chain sword. These are gonna be hitting on three, uh, hitting on twos because they did not move. All right, that's gonna be all hits. Wounding on fives. That is going to be one, two wounds at AP minus one. So two, four up saves. Makes them both. And now the other guys are going to attack over here. These are going to be hitting on uh, twos as well because they did not move. Okay, bunch of ones. And then these are going to be wounding on fives. Little oh, buddy. That's going to be two wounds over here. Two, three ups. Two, three ups. Oh, takes one wound. Okay. Six of feeling their pain? No, he takes. All right, so now they're gonna attack back. There's five guys there. They've each got one attack, so these are going to be hitting on, on threes. All right, that's gonna be two hits. Strength five, so threes to wound. That's two wounds. AP minus one on these, so looking for four up serves. Making one, failing one, D3 damage. That will kill a guy. All right, now my guys are gonna attack into his warlock over here. Uh, they've got nine attacks because they got charged and have a charity sorry his chain swords hitting on three uh, twos because they did not move and then wounding on uh, threes okay so it's gonna be four at AP minus one uh, he's got his four up invul saves uh, fails once we still alive with one wound left never mind he got a six up feeling the pain so he's good totally all right that's gonna be it for the Eldari here on turn two um, and that's going to be the end of turn two. So we'll come back to you after movement phase for the Dark Angels on turn three. Yeah. Movement phase for the Dark Angels here on turn two. Uh, these guys over here fell back out of combat with the Wraith Guard over there. Uh, the other squad in front there stood still. Uh, these guys all stood still over here. My bike, uh, my my uh, apothecary moved up over this way, looking at him. These guys shuffled over this way. Those guys stayed still on the objective there. Deathwing knights moved up over this way, and the bikers moved up behind them. The other guys stayed in combat with the warlock over there. So that's going to be it for movement phase for the dark angels here on turn two. We'll come back to you with the psychic phase. We're going to start off with a smite over here into his dire avenger. That will go off on an eight. So D3 mortal wounds. Do one mortal wound, six up, feeling the pain because he's Wolfway. No, he did. All right, starting off the attack bikes, are gonna fire into the fire prism here in the shooting phase. So we're gonna go with the multi melters first. Four shots here, hitting on threes. That's gonna be three hits. Wounding on threes. That is gonna be two wounds at AP minus four. 
All right, so that's just gonna go straight through over here. So it's gonna be uh, 2D6 plus two because they're within 12 inches uh, each, or D6 plus two for each of these uh, um, since they uh, are within 12 inches. So that's gonna be five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 damage, which I believe is enough to kill it. So does it explode? It does not. Yeah. And now the bikers over here are gonna fire into the warlock. Okie dokie. All right, my apothecary here is going to fire. He's gonna supercharge and fire into the uh, dude up here with his plasma talons. Uh, I'm gonna spend a CP to reroll this because he's not uh, core. That's gonna be good to go. Okay, thank God. Uh, wounding on threes. That's gonna be one wound. AP minus uh, four because it's still the assault doctrine. Five up. Uh, five up invul save. No, that's gonna go through for the two damage, so he is dead. Doesn't matter if he explodes because he's not in range of anybody. All right, my hell blasters are going to supercharge and fire into his um, wraith guard back over here. So two guys are in rapid fire range, so we'll do those guys first. So hitting on two since they didn't move. That's gonna be two hits. That's gonna be two hits. And then we got the other eight guys who are not in rapid fire range. Rerolling ones because of Lazarus. All right, so that's gonna be all hits. These are strength eight, so looking for threes to wound. No ones to reroll from the lieutenant there, so that's gonna be four. Um, do they have an invul save? No. No, so these are just gonna go straight through, two damage a piece. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be one guy dead. There are three wounds a piece, that's, oh, that's right, you have to go through with the field of pains, one second. So the first guy over there, two damage, is gonna go straight through and kill him. The next guy uh, will do four damage. This is going to require two to go through onto him. Uh, that's three damage is going to be enough to kill him. Another four damage for the next guy. Wait, that is turn three, right? Yes. That is going to kill him. Yeah, four damage for the next guy. That is also going to kill him. And then four damage for the next guy. That's going to kill him. So that wiped the squad. Now the aggressors are gonna fire into his uh, Cavalite Warriors over here. So it's gonna be 18 plus. Um, it's blast, but there's not there's five. So it's gonna be 18 plus uh, nine. So it's gonna be looking for 27 shots. All right, so now these are gonna be firing into these guys. So we got 27 shots. Hitting on fours because of the dense terrain there. Looking for threes to wound. Eight wounds at AP minus one because of tactical doctrine. So five up. Five up saves. Nope. It's not, this doesn't give cover, does it? Oh, I don't know. One second. All right, so here we go. Looking for, um, what is it? AP minus one plus one. Five up. Five up saves. Oh, uh, uh, nope. They are dead. All right, so into the assault phase. My Deathwing Knights here are going to fire into, are trying to charge into both these guys. My opponent is going to spend a CP to Overwatch. So we'll go with the uh, missiles here. No, we're going to go with the no. frag missiles. Frag okay, frag missiles. So it's going to be 2d6 shots. It's going to be five total shots here. And you guys These are going to be hitting on sixes. Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh, getting one hit. Uh, strength. That is going to be a wound. That's good to go with that save there with a five. Uh, their charge distance uh, is definitely in with an eight. And then my attack bikes are going to charge into the warlock over here. Uh, four inches. Well, probably won't get him actually. All right, so into the fight phase over here. Um, we're going to put five guys are going to go into the warwalker, and then uh, four guys, including the night master, are going to go into the warlock. So we're going to go into the warwalker first. These are going to be 15 attacks from the guys, hitting on twos. Okay, and then these are going to be uh, wounding on threes. All right, so that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight at AP minus two. Into the Warwalker. Eight at AP minus two is five ups. Five up in Volsave. Five up in Volsave. Here we go. Uh, nope. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five at uh, three damage a piece. He is dead. Does he explode? No, he doesn't. And we'll do the three guys with the maces into the uh, warlock, over, into the farseer over here. And then wounding on twos. That is going to be five, six, seven wounds at AP minus two. Four up invuls. All right, seven, four up invuls. No, he will be dead at three damage a piece. So, oh, we got, I guess we got 
A three damage. Twelve. Uh, more. Uh, I got one. Ten. Here you go. Ten. You know, pains at first. No, he definitely did. <laughs> All right. So now his warlock over here gets to attack into my bikes. That's gonna be two hits. Wounded on twos because he always wounds on twos. That's gonna be one wound. Uh, two of he's gonna be, fail that save. So he takes. Is it D three damage? Uh, D three. D three. One damage there. So he's down to two. And then my guys are going to attack back over here. Did not get charged or charged, so hitting on uh, twos though, because they did not move. Wounding on threes. That is going to be four. Four, four of his balls. No, he will be dead with those two. Six of Phil and Pains. No, he did. All right, so that's going to be it for the Dark Angel's turn here, and uh, that is where we're going to call it because uh, my opponent only has his one Argon back here who is probably going to use um, uh, Retreat uh, to fight another day as he slinks off into the shadows away from everyone's prying eyes. So a brutal game. Man, Dark Angels are in a good place. I'm excited about them. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun to be able to play them and have them actually perform well. <laughs> and get back into it especially now that i've got the new codex and can actually play the new codex because i'm not locked down anymore <laughs> so um yeah it was a ton of fun i had a blast just you know to roll dice again and, and be able to play and have a good time and see my dark angels uh, perform on the table so i hope you guys have all enjoyed this i certainly have i have been phil the glacial geek as always my opponent's been max and until next time stay safe and have fun